Hey guys, welcome back to another video here where we're going to be testing out a couple of speed loaders for 556 and 223. Let's get to it. And this video is not sponsored by Shield Republic, but I'm kind of fond of this one. Obviously, there's nothing to show here in the front. Let's take a look in the back. And this is what it looks like from the back. It says, Rad Dad. It's got Blue's dad holding bazooka <laughs> it's 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 a silly thing I've got kids they love bluey I of course I gotta have it they are all thrilled when they're like hey it's Bluey's dad why is he holding a rocket launcher anyways it's a good conversation starter for for some people I know you are gonna love their shirts you can get yours here for the holidays hopefully they have things on sale I know that they do send out little coupons that say you can get like 5% off of your next order. It saves a buck here too. But man, with the amount of shirts and sweaters and jackets that they have, you're going to be rearranging your whole wardrobe to fit around these shirts. I love them. I can't get enough of them. Go online today and pick out a few that you need for this winter season. But enough talk about that. Let's get into these speed loaders. Inside, I have this wonderful ammo can. It's not sponsored stuff. This is stuff that I bought with my money. Yay, spending my money. So, what's in here? Got some random stuff. A bunch of random stuff. So, I was really tempted to get one of those big huge three foot by like foot and a half big speed loaders ones made out of wood that you see or any ones that you could assemble they're like 60 bucks to a hundred dollars a piece I was like that would be nice you could speed it real, real quickly you could use your put it for your AK mags you could use it for your five five six two two three rounds but I got to thinking If I go out to the range, or if I'm out, let's just say, anywhere that's not at the range, and I need to backpack this out, and I need to be able to load my ammo quickly, I'm not going to be carrying around a 10-pound, 5-pound, whatever it weighs, piece of wood just to load my ammo. A, I'd rather load by hand, or B, I'd rather use these little, oh, what are they called again? Stripper clips! No, wrong kind of stripper. No, don't de demonetize me, YouTube. The wrong kind of stripper. Stripper clips. You... Anyways, so I figured, you know what? I like these. These are nice. These are good. I wonder if there's something else out there. And I was looking at those really, really big ones. They look really nice, really big, really fancy. And I decided I don't want to spend that kind of money and I don't want to have to lug those thing, that thing around. It's going to take up a lot of space. So I looked a little further. And I found the Ramit. Great. Another one of those dirty things. Stripper clip. Ramit. No, it is. No, stop. Oh, my gosh. All right. Now I'm probably going to get demonetized for this. <laughs> Dead gum. <laughs> Anyways. So this is a new kind of speed loader that I found on the internet. Yes, it is called Ramit. So essentially... Rounds go inside, and then you can go ahead and ram it inside of the magazine. So, there are different variations in regards to how ammo can get loaded. You can use Mr. Reliable Thumbs here. You can use stripper clips, this is something that military uses, or you can use what uh, civilians use. The super fancy expensive stuff that you probably don't need. <laughs> I mean the military has been using stuff like this for, for some time. It just makes it easy to be able to take what is currently on these and just load into the magazine. But I do want to do some tests kind of show you how quickly it takes 
to load up one of these magazines by hand with a stripper clip and with the ramit, sorry, with the ramit here. So let's go ahead and dive into that. First, I'm gonna show how these stripper clips work and how this ramit system can work very, very closely to this exact same system. Those stripper clips work is that there are two tabs on either side. I don't know if you can see that very clearly, but they are just the smallest of little tabs. And what that does is that it holds on to the ammunition for you, so that way you can use it whenever you're ready. I don't know if I can be able to get this to work here, but I probably won't. So I'm probably gonna be loading this here by hand. So essentially, you can take all of these, you can load them onto these clips, and store it for later. Which, when you're in a firefight, I haven't, just to be honest, I haven't been in a firefight, but I would assume that this is the easy way to be able to store your ammunition, take your ammunition out into the field, and then proceed to go ahead and load up your magazines whenever you need to. So you go ahead and close up the clip here, close up the clip there, and now you have 10 rounds here on this stripper clip ready to be used at any point in time. Set it off to the side, put it in your equipment, or just go ahead and put it in your go bags. And then you repeat the process of loading up the rest of the mags, or the stripper clips, I should say. My apologies. Now, you can buy these here probably for like $10 for 100 stripper clips. They're really, really cheap. And most of them that you'll find online, like on eBay, you'll find that they are already used at least once. Now, could have been from a private citizen, or it could have been from the military, and they just didn't want to use them anymore after they were used once, because a lot of them that I've seen, um, they'll come inside of uh, ammo cans, and then you can go ahead and use it up. But bottom line is that this then attaches to this, which is called a spoon kind of what it looks like. Anyways, so here in the back, there's this little groove where the handle of the spoon, my apologies, yeah, where the spoon locks in. Locks in the back right there. There are these little grooves right here that kind of help guide it into place, but then it eventually locks in and stays right here. Now, as a, for a speed loader, you then take it, put it right here. I like to hold this against my chest and then I hold this here and then I'll go ahead and pull it in and load it that way. So you can go ahead and get three of those set up and then you can speed load them in, move on to your next mag, etc. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. Just going to go ahead and be doing some tests, see how long it takes to go ahead and load it by hand, how long it takes to go ahead and load it up here with these speed clips and then see how long it takes with the Ramit and see which one's easier and which one's faster. And then I'll let you decide which one you like best. What I was referring to. So here you have a bandolier, you have an ammo can. Here are the, here are the rounds. You get about 20 rounds in each box. There's the spoon. And right there are those little stripper clips. So you can buy them and people go ahead and resell their once used stripper clips because they don't want to use them again or they just don't. Give a hoot if they've used it once or twice. They'll tell you usually how many times that they've used it. Sometimes it's just military surplus. But yeah, that's kind of where you'll you'll find more information in regards to what what they have up on their website. So you can buy ammo that's already comes with stripper clips. But probably on eBay is probably where you're going to find the already used stripper clips. So that way you can save yourself a buck or two on eBay.com. And I looked up stripper clips. It kind of pre-found me into some kind of algorithm here. And see here, you can go ahead and buy even new stripper clips for 100 with speed loaders for $34.99. Here you can get 25 and you get a speed loader with it. Here you get 10 for 12, so on and so forth. Um, so here's another one, a lot of 20. So yeah, you can find these anywhere on eBay. You can find it for different kind of 
uh, rounds that you've got and whatnot. Some come with the bandolier. But yeah, if you want to find some used ones, great. I like to hold on to them so that way with all the extra ammo that I've got, I can go ahead and put those on there just in case I need them for whatever purpose or anybody needs to get a hold of it, they can go ahead and, and speed load their, their ammo into their, to their magazines. But to get into what you came here for, let's go ahead and see how long it takes for us to go ahead and load these magazines by hand, by stripper clip, and by the ramit. So, I am going to be using this right now just to kind of help keep it organized so that way I can load it in simple enough so that way you don't have ammo going everywhere. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there. So, here we are. Oh man, I fudged that one. So if you're in a stressful situation, it's already taken me at least two seconds for every single one of these rounds to load up this magazine. Two seconds a round. And if you're under duress, that's probably going to take longer to get those loaded in. Because who knows what's going on during that situation, whether you drop rounds, you lose rounds, or you're just fumbling to get these in. Here, I had at least a nice, non-stressful environment, and I felt pressured to get these in. <laughs> but for a whole minute to load up 30 rounds, just to blow through it in like 10 seconds, that's a lot of ammo and a lot of time to go through. Now, with the Ramit, it can go by fairly quickly, just because, like I said, just like the speed loader here, you can take it, you can slide it across, and then you can insert it into the Ramit, which then allows you to slide it in like so. Then you take your device, and ram it. So I have not actually done this before with the box load feature. So this is gonna be interesting for me. I'm probably gonna mess up, so don't laugh too much. But let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Still recording? Excellent. Okay, timer ready. And what hand? Let's go. Gotta make sure I'm doing it the right way. There's all 10 rounds. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it would probably be ideal. <sighs> Let me start that over. All right. I definitely goofed. I should have remembered that there is nothing to restrain these. So that's a, a good lesson to learn that this did not have the magazine at the bottom. I should have thought about that first. Practice enough with my nine millimeter, I should have realized that. <laughs> but that is something also important to remember is that if you are need to do this, make sure that thing's installed before you start. Okay, go ahead and try that again. Put this down. Okay, magazine in. There's a little seat in right here. You can probably get more than 15 in there. This comes in, loads up, done. Come in here, grab your next 10. If I can do this without dropping any. This goes in, wrap it, take it out. Grab your next 10. Uh, styrofoam is not the most level, so it's taking me a second to grab a hold of them. Oh, I lost a round. That's gonna cost me. And then if you really want to, you can just drop it in. Close that up. It allows you to ram it. 
So even with all my goof ups, all my mess ups, I still was able to get a little bit better time and I wasn't hand the finger. Sorry, geez, I wasn't having to use my thumb to insert every single round this time, which definitely made it a lot easier. If this one came in a different kind of pack than, than the, the free box that it came in, I'd probably be able to slide these in a lot easier. I know some of them come with those little black plastic uh, holders, which would make it easier for this kind of thing. A lot of us probably don't have that kind of, um, of ammo, but that is definitely an option. But I wanted to go ahead and show you exactly what it looks like here with that, with those speed clips, um, or with the stripper clips, and with that speed loader spoon. And then we'll also go ahead and load it up here by hand, see what that looks like as well. And to go ahead and switch out between the box load and for the hand load, really, this is the exact same thing. Really, the only difference is that it has that option to be able to grip around the rim of the cartridge. So that way you can slide it in. Otherwise, idea is the same, except this time I'm now inserting them one at a time and then we'll be ramming it into the magazine. So without further ado, let's make that happen. It's your magazine. One, two, So this is nice because if you have all of that loose ammo and it's not in a package, like I know some bulk ammo does, this makes it really nice for that kind of purpose. I don't know if you need to put that little sleeve on there every single time. I'm sure I could probably put more rounds in here, but I haven't tested it out, so I wouldn't know if it's gonna work out that way. Oh, sure, let's go ahead and make a dent on my phone. Why don't I wanna? <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. So that one may take a little bit of time, but again, if you have ammo loosely hanging around and you don't wanna have to load onto this every single time. This is another great way of being able to get everything loaded on. Onto the stripper clip. So, I'll go ahead and take the spoon, I'll at least put it on. It is sometimes a pain depending on how the spoon is, if it's been abused or if it's just deformed in any kind of shape or form. It can make it hard to get onto this. I haven't really traded on to the metal magazines. I've only used it on the PMAG ones and they've always worked fairly well. But um, again, basic idea is that we take this, usually both ends of these are already closed. That just helps prevent this from going everywhere, falling apart. We insert like this, and then I'll go ahead and slam it into the PMAC. So let's go ahead and get the test started. 30 rounds. As long as you have them pre-made, and you need to get to something really, really quickly, this is great if you're in a firefight. I can 100% see that and understand that. Taking this into a firefight, not the greatest, but if you have people that are getting sore thumbs after a while loading it, this is a great little feature to be able to do that speed loader. Otherwise, trying to lug around a giant three foot by one feet foot piece of wood, polymer, whatever it's made out of, just to put your magazine in here and rack it in, that's gonna take a lot of time. But with these stripper clips, if they are already pre-made up, within 20 seconds, you can have a fully loaded magazine. Whether you are at the range, whether you're at a firefight, or you're just casually plinking with your friends. These make a very, very great, very compelling option to be able to load. The only downside is that it can get stuck depending on how these are. Some of these 
the, the, the rounds flowing in and out of them with no problem. Some of them, they are a little bit sticky, again, because they are second hand. But overall, 20 seconds compared to a minute, I can load up three magazines and have 90 rounds ready to go by the time that someone gets one of these rounded up or getting their whole rack set up. But ultimately, it's really up to you and your preferences. I know some people like to have that really, really big fat, uh, big speed loader just because it looks cool and fancy. Great, go ahead and spend your $80 on that, by all means. I'd rather have the, the ram it just because if my wife wants to come shooting with me or if there's any other people that are, have troubles manually loading in those rounds, I know it's difficult for me. You saw how much I was struggling to get those in even when I wasn't supposed to be rushed. I was just trying to get them in and I was fumbling them. But if you need to be able to load those rounds nice and easy, ram it makes it nice. Otherwise, strip clips are definitely another way to go. Um, after so many times, these little uh, brass tabs are gonna break off, so eventually you are gonna have to toss them out. So get a lot while you can, S save them so that way you can use them later on, or just hold on to go ahead and shoot and go plinking. Um, I'll go ahead and throw a description down in the link. I will drop a link in the description below so that way you can find these things easier. Um, so let me know if you have any questions. Drop them in the comment section below. I want to go ahead and leave you with a quote here before we go by Oliver Cromwell. Put your trust in God, my boys, but mine to keep your powder dry. Thanks for watching.